you can't mention Miriam Shearing enough. She's the first woman elected to the bench. She is the first woman. She was sort of the mother to us all and really was a role model. Miriam Shearing, a lawyer, and her husband, a doctor, came to Las Vegas in 1969. The reason we're in Las Vegas is that the people in Las Vegas were so welcoming. There were only 10 women attorneys in town at the time. I ran her very first campaign for uh, Justice of the Peace, and she won out of a field of 17 people. Shearing was elected as Clark County's Justice of the Peace. In 1983, she became the first woman on the district court. Within three years, she was chief judge. I, I liked making the decisions and doing what I think is right. Miriam Shearing eventually decided that Nevada's high court system needed a female voice and that she was the woman for the job. In 1992, she ran for the Nevada Supreme Court. After an extremely contentious election, she won the position and became the state's first female Supreme Court justice. Some attorneys, and very few, could not accept a woman making those decisions. They would be rude and uh, treat me in ways that, no, they would never treat a male judge. She made it possible for other women to see themselves in that position, and many women have followed in those footsteps. One of those women was Karen Bennett Heron. She was the first African-American female ever appointed to the state's justice system at any level. I went to law school in Houston. I went to Thurgood Marshall School of Law. In the mid-1980s, Karen Bennett Heron returned to Las Vegas with high hopes of bettering her community. She began her judicial career as law clerk in Clark County, but Bennett Heron soon found herself facing issues related to gender and race. I remember when I was working for Judge Foley and as his law clerk, he required us to come in very early, like 6.30. One morning, I came in behind a judge whose name I will not say, and he alerted the bailiffs that a black woman was coming down the hall from the side door. So when I got up to the uh, doorway to, to go into the judge's chambers, all guns were, were <laughs> drawn because, you know, they had alerted him that, you know, what's this black lady doing coming in this doorway? You would think he'd be more, a little bit more broad-minded, but he wasn't. And that was pretty much my experience throughout my entire professional career. Despite the challenges, Karen Bennett Heron continued her career in law. She eventually became a judge and then chief judge of the Las Vegas Justice Court, where she continues to serve her community.